How to set up Mongoose OS on Windows 10. First, open the browser of your choice. I'll be using Edge. Next, go to the Mongoose OS website. It will be linked down in the description. Next, select download. Select this and download to, to wherever you like. Usually this will be in the downloads folder. Select run and you should see this page. Now you may not, if you see just COM1 then you may have a common problem where the drivers have not been installed for your ESP32. If so, go to the very bottom left and you'll see the windows icon. Right click and select device manager. Now, return back to your um, uh, web browser of your choice and look up ESP32 drivers. Select the, uh, select the UA, uh, USB to UART bridge. The link will be in the description. Next, select this here. Download it to wherever you like. I am going to be downloading it to this downloads folder. Next, open. Open this by double clicking this and select extract all. Click extract. Following this, go back to device manager. Select on uh, select on other devices as you will see it says here CP2104 USB to UART bridge controller. Select that and select drivers. Select update drivers. Next, select search automatically for drivers. Actually, no, that is wrong. Next, browse computer for driver folders. Select browse. Go into downloads. Next, select, uh, select CP210X Windows drivers. Select OK and next. Close that. Now, as you can see, it's COM3. Now, return back to Mongoose OS, and you should see COM3. Select that, and press select. Now, select ESP32, and click Demo.js. Then, select Flash. Wait until it's completed. You will know when it's completed because this will stop turning and you can see in the bottom right all done and the logs are going crazy. Next, enter enter uh, enter your Wi-Fi uh, uh, Wi-Fi SSID on Wi-Fi network name and Wi-Fi password. like set wait until this uh, has stopped circling once you have done that you will see if you've done this correctly you'll see that it has gone online select the vice files and select config 9 if you do not have this that is because you have not entered the configure Wi-Fi do that and once that's completed, go into config zero. Scroll all the way down until you see pins. Highlight and copy all that. From the beginning of the quotation marks the the end of this um squiggly bracket as I as my math teacher called. Add a comma after this bracket here, not this one, but this one, and press enter. Then paste what you had just copied there and change 21 to 5. Save that and you should see your LED flashing on and off. Select done. And that is how you set this up. And that's how you set up an ESP32 on, on Windows 10.